Hey, yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back again with Vampire Part 2, or Episode 2, however you want to call it. Let's get right into it. So yeah, I do have to say, I did play the game from the beginning again, because unfortunately I lost the save file. But it's a good thing, because this time I figured out that how to use the gun properly, and also I came to know that if you have the gun equipped, you can also find bullets by killing people. So, this is where we were last. We just arrived at the hospital. Who is that? Oh. 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 Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. That was damn. Just stabbed and killed someone. <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Okay, that's kind of rude. Uh, what should we say? No, no, no. Let's say this. I'll let I have a mind bleed. to let you bleed out. Good luck then, sir. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Mm-hmm. That's Thanks, more Clay like Cox. it. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher blood quality, the more XP you get. Wait, what? To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them. Oh. Okay. It's like compulsion, making them do what I want. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Press to embrace clay cards or space bar to release it. Embracing clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there are the consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. I'm gonna release you. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah, because um, they said there are consequences. Besides, I don't think it's worth it. He will only give me 500 XP anyway, and I'm pretty sure I can do with it. What's this? All right. Can I go up? Oh, oh there's nothing up. Never mind. Um. Whoa. What happened? Oh, he has no clue. Okay. So how do we help him then? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Mm, yeah, that's true. Aluminium powder. Anything else? No, okay. So we need to enter the Pembroke Hospital. I want to kind of look around a little bit before we do that. Alright. Some screws. I don't want to get away from this area though. Alright. I don't have health at all. No, it's a patient. It's like a medical camp. Can I talk to you? Sure Good evening, can. nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. 
Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Mm -hmm. Also, why is she facing that way and looking at me a side-eyed? It's kind of weird. Um, personal questions. Oh, nothing, okay. Your life in London... What's the situation? How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Invisible enemy could hospital for invisible An enemy. invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Oh, I think she's talking about the Spanish flu and not the vampire problem. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Mm. That's not good. What about the staff? I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem? I should know about nurse. It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Uh, anything. Is there okay. anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Dr. Why should his Tippets? age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. A new hint available, okay. Speak up, Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Okay, I guess she's telling the truth then. All right. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. So... Yeah, 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 hold on. Let me look around. Glass vials, all right. Let me talk to you. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed what? has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Oh, Tippett, wow. yes, I remember. Oh, it's you, Tippett. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Why can't you just face me and talk, huh? Personal question, we don't have a hint, okay. Your life in London... Oh, it's a clue. You're okay. exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. So dedicated, okay. Uh, okay. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, her. my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Okay, that's good. Uh, tell me about the staff. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Management. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. 
Okay. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. Ooh. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Okay. I mean, you're praising her way too much. I don't know. Nope. Life in London, okay. It's what is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. No. It's the same everywhere. I think people are more... It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. So, um, I also know that sometimes these conversations can be pointless. But sometimes they're also really crucial. So we need to keep an eye out for the conversations and stuff. Make sure we don't miss any. Oh, wait, a garbage trash bin, I mean. Right here. Nice. Small bottle, too. Hmm. Let's have a, a really quick look and then we'll get in. Okay, okay, that's it then. Hey, what's this? Influenza frequently complicated with pneumonia. To prevent any case of Spanish flu, stay at home. That was a really brief note, but I guess it's good enough, right? Yeah. There Doctor, we where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. No, now she's I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Wow, that's really efficient. I would like to ask a few questions first. Okay. Um, how is Mr. Hampton? And yet? Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Um... Right. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Oh, what should I say? I only just met him. He knows me. Um, um, yeah. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. I only just met him? Should I say that? Yeah, I think it's okay. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Okay, that was brief and quick. Yeah, I know where my room is, it's fine. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I think I know where my room is, right? Oh yeah, it says find your office on the second floor. All right, should be good enough. I don't want to talk to everyone. I mean, I want to, but not at the same time. Let's just have a quick look around, find any secrets, and then we'll get going to the office and see what that's all about. Hey. I just wish I could see the things more clearly, because they're, they're all really shiny, like from Plankdale. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. 
Wait, there was a guy right here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's talk to him and then we'll go around. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's oh. quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. Uh, I'm not sure that. I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh. Okay, let's I'd like train. to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Okay, so this is like his own shop here. Milton's shotgun. Good damage. Uh, 315 shillings. I only have 88. I can't do anything with it. But I can buy some bullets. Yeah, let's just buy it. It's cheap. I'm gonna max out with the bullets. Because I do have a shotgun. And I also have a revolver. The rest, I'm not really sure about it. I don't know what I need. But when I do, I know where to come. Wait, where did all my weapons go? What the hell? What? Where did all my weapons go? What the hell? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. Okay. So I just... I guess we can't sell it then. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right. Let's go to my office. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. It's not a bad looking hospital. Looks good. I'm not going to talk to everyone, but I'm just going to look around and collect the materials that I need. About the use of garlic and wooden steak. Uh, okay, yeah. You guys can go on, pause it, and read whatever is here right now. Alright. What else? It's locked. Oh, Hampton. Alright, let's just talk to Hampton and then... Good evening, go. Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sir, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Uh, personal questions... What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Hmm. So he's a priest? Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. All right. Why not use a cross against William? Yeah, Why didn't you here. use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Oh, so there are particular cross, uh, which is like magical or, you know, the one that the Doctor used against me to keep me away from him. How do you feel? That's How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. That's good. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. The 
That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. All right. Your life in London are oh, so many. You know what? I'll come back to it. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Yeah, because he's not going to go anywhere. Daily routine. And also, I just want to really, really keep going forward with the game. Because everyone right now must have noticed that it's so big. There's so much to do. And if I keep talking to everyone, then the whole episode will be just conversations. Hospital full. Please go back home. Okay. <laughs> Influenza. Okay. That's really polite. I'm not going to talk. Unfinished letter. Okay. What's in here? Glass vial. Nope. I'm not going to talk to you. Screw you. I will not let you down, my boy. I don't care who you are. Evening, I'm just gonna see if I can steal something from you. Hmm. All right, nothing, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. What's in this room? You always knew it was to come nothing. Children. Nothing. Okay. Idiot. I guess we'll go up then. No, oh, it's a staircase right here. Right? Yeah. Where's this poster? In the name of mercy, they depend on you. Nurses are needed now. Okay, it's a requirement. Okay. Because a lot of nurses resigned, so maybe that's why. Alright. Find your office on the second floor. Okay, it's first floor and then second floor. Oh, I can't go. Or maybe this is the second floor. Yeah. Should to be on. Um, oh, what is this? Used hacksaw. I'm assuming that it's a new weapon. Medical file T. Elwood. Patient name Thomas Elwood. Male, age 28, followed by Dr. Tippett's. Nope, not gonna read it. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just another hint to talk to Dr. Tippett's. Oh, is this my office? What the hell? No, it can't be. Yeah, this is my office. Dr. Reed, yeah, let's go. This must be the place. Hideout? It's definitely away from prying eyes. Oh, it's a hideout. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. All right. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Oh, come on. That would be cool to sleep in a coffin. What do we have? Article on econs. Yep. And some glass vials. What the is this? The flower's dying. It needs water. Okay, but how can I water the plant? Can I? I can. I don't think I can. Dr. Swansea's message. Mm, again. Not gonna read it. Let's see, let's see. You first need to analyze the components. If you found a new recipe, click on the to analyze component. This one, right? Yeah. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Press D. What? Select a melee weapon to upgrade it. Well, I'm using this one right now, I guess. Attack speed 15. No, this is way better than this. Attack speed is 15. This... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know which one to use. Hmm. Attack speed 5, stamina 30. No. I guess I'll upgrade this one then. Since I don't have a choice. You can upgrade your weapon 
to a new level with the required ingredients. You'll inflict more damage and you'll also gain access to customized slots. I guess we're upgrading this then. Alright. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. All right. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. <laughs> Alright, let's evolve and see what happens. How many points do I have? 790. Okay. Not bad. I did do health and stamina. Should I do bite? Hard biting. Increase the damage inflicted when using bite in combat. Or increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. So bite can either be more deadly or heal you. Which one is more proven? Um, defensive. You, you will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Okay, and blood barrier. Hmm. Again, I really don't know what to do. What about the blood? Increase your blood capacity. Maybe this one. Yeah. And then I can use... Blood Spear. It will cost 25 blood. And then Shadow Mist. Mm. Maybe we can try this? Maybe? No, I think we should do some kind of bite. Yeah, let's go for bite damage. Because now we have more blood. Yeah, this should be good enough. Let's rest and see what happens. Following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. What about my thirst for blood? Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Night shift, onto the door, okay. Yeah, I do work night shift, unfortunately. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Crisis. Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What? The room is with flimmers, there's nothing here. Oh, um, I don't know what to do. This one? What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. Okay. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything oh, okay. used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. Sanitary it opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. No. Thank you, nurse. No, 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 no. What do you have to make me go through the abandoned morgue? That definitely doesn't sound good to me. Oh no. I know something bad's gonna happen. I can feel it. Let me just look around a little bit. <laughs> well, I guess we have to go through it anyway. We don't have a choice because we are the only vampire here. <sighs> but wait, where's the back door? Ooh, what's this? Small bottle. I guess that's the back door. Um, 
I guess I'm going the right way. Also, yeah, let me just equip my good weapon. Because it would be really handy. Yep, okay, here we go. Yep, alright, good to go. What's this? Quarantine continues to seize. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of the local health authority. So it's a lockdown. You know, this is a kind of a perfect game to play in the current pandemic and so relatable. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going inside. I'm not going to the garden. Break the garden. Oh no. Oh no. I hear something. So Skull is basically a rogue vampire who lost his control completely. Right? I think I'm right. Am I going the right way? I think so. I'm just gonna walk to avoid um, just running into a vampire. Last vial. Can I heal, please? It's not really letting me heal. I think I should be in combat to heal. No, I don't want to go outside. Find useful ingredients in the old morgue. Find some ferrous tartrate. Uh, no one here. I don't like the voice. It's so creepy. Anything here? No. Well, I guess I have to go upstairs then. This is so creepy. Please don't give me a jump scare or something. Oh my god. Is he eating a dead body? Come here, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this one. Dodge, 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 and then it's that. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness oh moves faster than influenza. Influenza. Alright. So yeah. The William. So yeah, these are just rogue. They've lost their race. I don't think it's gonna get anywhere. This key will surely grant know. me access to the basement. Well, how do you know that? You don't know that. Oh shit! Yep, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't like this. I, I really don't like this. Actually, I hate it. Can I just go away, please? Bullets, okay. That's a good sign. Shotgun bullets, okay. Also a good sign. Do I have to go up or down? Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate. That might prove itself what the? useful. What? What? Invisible vampire? What the hell? Uh oh. There they are. Yoo hoo! These scowls feed on corpses and the husk of animals. Come on. They're not Attack me. Blood. Are you blocking? Well, fuck this, asshole. Oh shit, I I'm gonna have to watch my words. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm just a small innocent vampire. 
Hey, you! Leave him alone, shit. What's he doing? Dancing? Thanks. Nice. Alright, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm just gonna kill all of you. Come on. I mean, I have to say I'm kind of freaked out. But, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, um, not gonna show it. I did have a good gun. Uh, I mean, a good weapon. So I should be good. This way? Or this way? No, it's pointing to this way. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a boss. What did you do? Oh, no. Oh, it's a cowboy. Oh, no. He's powerful. He's really powerful. Reloading. Reload. No, no, no. Uh, okay, I'm reloading. Okay, never mind. Nope, nope. Reload. Oh, damn it. No, leave me alone. One man, but two. Is it like manipulation? Oh yeah, possibly. It's not real. These skulls can be so ferocious. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Yeah. To drink blood is so. I don't even so know how I survive that. Wow. Really, really, really. What? Analyze... No, later. Hmm. That was really stressful. Because I thought the weapons would auto-reload, but it doesn't. You have to reload them. And it's really slow. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Craft the treatment for fatigue. Wait, can I craft it on this bench then? I don't have to go back to my hideout, do I? can all right so I have a treatment for fatigue now what bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room all right so we just need to get out of here then well if only I could have some more blood okay I have five ammo that be good enough. Who's in here? No one? Dead guy. A death report. A new citizen investigation is available. Press. Okay. Who's that? Citizen investigation. Okay, blood quality. So killing him would give me 1600 XP. Killing her would give me 3000 XP. And who's this? Find out the cost of death. Uh, no. Uh, no. I'll do it later. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. What's this? Use Liston knife. 
You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon equipped and pressed to directly absorb blood. Ooh. It's locked. That's cool. Uh, where is it? Listen knife, blood absorption 5. So I can just hit with it and it will automatically use blood. Nice. That's cool. No, I don't want to go through those doors anyway. I want to just get out of here. Alright, that's also pretty fast. So I don't have to worry about the speed. Oh, okay, that will just lead me here. Am I going the right way? Oh, hello there. Come on, come on. I'm just gonna do a basset walk into you. That gave me no blood. Okay, it gave me a little bit of blood. That's not good enough. I need uh, something more powerful. Oh, more. Uh, of course. Hey, I, I saw you. Come back here, you. Oh, I don't have stamina. I don't have stamina. I don't have stamina. I don't have stamina. Now I do. Dead. I am doing well for now, but I can also feel that this is not good enough in the near future. Because for now I can manage, I can handle them, and that's it. I can't really fight efficiently. But let's get back to the hospital. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run like crazy back to the hospital. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with this. Run. Find out the cost of death, but I don't know how to find out the cost of death. That's like the side mission, I guess. Yeah, this is where I came from, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm safe. Or am I? Yeah, I think. Who are you? Unknown. You are, you're all unknown. I'm looking for the nurse. There she is. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. What the? When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Disease decreases the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Okay. I'm pretty sure the door just opened on some. As for me, what a Dr. Edgar Swansea, but it also said talk to this patient. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Oh, got Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Mortimer Goswick. Press E to check the medical status of the citizen. Healing a citizen will increase blood quality and we reward you with XP. Okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Uh, wait, why should I give you the medicine? Um, am I supposed to? Fine, I'll give you the medicine. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Treatment for fatigue is gone now. Personal questions, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. What the hell? I just gave you the medicine and cured you and you're like... Alright, how rude. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Hey, come on, man. We 
must communicate. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Yeah. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. How painful is your throat? How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Oh, come on. I'll let you get some rest then. Yeah, he doesn't talk But at in all. the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. How ungrateful. I just cured him and he doesn't want to really? talk. Blood temptation. Remember, Citizen's Blood will provide you with a massive XP boost. Look for Citizen of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. But we have some of the most brilliant minds in London at Pembroke. Who are you? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Well, what? What? You're a vampire. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Are you mental? Are you mental? Are you a patient here? I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Um, we'll take care the of The staff you. here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Uh, okay. Your Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Garden near the morgue. Oh, maybe that's why. That's why we heard the. Um, um, and the why do you garden. believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Okay. Cotard Seinburn. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness oh, discovered no. by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I kind of want to believe her, but by the looks of her, she does look pretty Please, messed up. describe to me how you feel. What is it like? To be a vampire. I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I'm just gonna leave you alone before she bites I'll me. leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. If she is a real vampire, then I already like her, but no, I don't think so. What's in here? What's this? It's locked, oh, it's all right. Locked. Come on, man. Okay, let's go see Edgar Swansea. I don't know where he is. Where do we find him? Where is he? 
Yep. Oh. Okay. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead, unalive, immortality defies logic. It makes perfect I cannot logic. express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Exactly. Uh, your words bring comfort. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Edgar, sure. Uh, this is not amusing. We need each other. No need to apologize. Let me say this. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Oh, no, that's kind of rude. Very well. I didn't mean to say that. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? Uh... By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Okay. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. All right. That seems like a mission. But let's go back to the hideout. I mean, to my room. And let's upgrade. We have some good amount of points. Here we go. This is a really big and cool room at the same time. I would totally live here. Okay, I thought there was a mirror, but no. Oh my god. Wait, so we can just teleport up here from the outside? That's cool. Which way? Yeah, this way. Wait, can I upgrade anything? Can I upgrade my weapons or anything? Analyze. Treatment for cold, treatment for bronchitis. Okay. So much to do. Damn. Bottle of alcohol. Oh, I can recycle. Bowl of cheap gen. Item can recycle into components. Yes, please. You, average resale value, can be recycled. I don't want to. No, I don't want to recycle this. Cigarette case. But if it's good resale, where can I even sell it? No idea. Common trigger part. I want a common trigger part. I want three of them. Which I don't have. Mm, I only have one. What else can I upgrade? Yeah, common trigger part. We can buy it from the guy down there, maybe. I can upgrade this one. Yeah, let's upgrade this one. I kind of like it. But this doesn't really do stun damage, which is bad, but for now it should be good. Use steak. No. Alright. 
Let's evolve and see what we can do. We, we need to get stronger. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what do we have? Uh, tactical. You perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Sounds cool. Shadow. Uh, drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in the state will drain more stamina. You will eat. You will exit the shadows if you attack or dodge or when your stamina is empty. Okay. It's, it's basically walking through the enemies. I don't want it. It's not gonna... 5 stamina per second when walking, 2.5 stamina when standing still. No, that's not gonna be useful at this point, I'm sure. Defense. Mm. You'll block your target's blood in their veins. Maybe I'll go for this for now. 600, no. Science. You can now carry three serums on you. Increase the number of bullets you can carry. Oh, this is something I definitely need. I can do it again, but yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Blood, blood capacity, increase your blood capacity. Yes, please, I'll do that as well. I can do some more, yeah. Fast generation, I'll do you as well. And I think I need to use one of these. Blood, uh, shadow mist or blood spear, which one should I get? You throw a spear made of blood which can fast through enemies in front of you. Shadow mist. It's like a grenade, like an explosion. There's like a ranged throwable. Can I even do it? Oh, I can't. Thousand. All right, never mind then. I'll do a different. Yeah. Blood barrier. You create an invisible barrier absorbing drug damage until it fades or is destroyed. This might come in handy. So I will do it. Alright. Vampires afraid of suffering damage are familiar with the hardness ability. The blood ability will protect the vampire from direct damage. Unfortunately, it does not stop them from being grabbed by enemies. You can hurt my body, but only if you can. Okay. Confirm. Alright. Major district event. Every night, the consequences of your action may improve your or degrade the health status. It can also degrade the disease spreading among citizens. The more lives you take, the unhealthier district becomes. If a district health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide a district's fate. Alright. I mean, I'm so far keeping them strong. Clay Cox, he's improving. Oh, he needs the treatment of fatigue. But I didn't cure him because I don't have it. Tell Mer Hocroft, yeah. Her blood quality is pretty good. 6,000? Oh, so if we kill him, we'll get 6,000 XP. But I'm not going to kill him. No, I'm, I'm going to be nice to this district. We'll see what we can do. Anyways. This is where I'm going to end today's episode. We have another mission which is going to take a long time but we're already hitting the one hour mark and we'll see what gonna happen in the next video and about the game i'm not really sure what i feel about it because sometimes i get bored with the concept of too much conversations but at the same time all those conversations make some sense so it's really hard to judge at this point but eventually we'll uncover more of the story and it might get interesting so anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care and cheerio.